Hello everybody, today I want to show you how to get started with this kit, logic analyzer kit we have in our shop. It's from IKA Logic or IK Logic, I don't know how to pronounce it exactly. But yeah, let's see what's in the package. Of course we have the PCB and then here on the assembly instruction guide, which can be downloaded from their website. We have an overview, we have the AT Mega controller, a buffer IC, Pico gate, an oscillator, some memory, SRAM memory, USB connector, an extra programming port, and then the through hole components, which have to be soldered by yourself. Some capacitors, Zener diode, voltage regulator, connector, LED, and some resistors. So let's get started. Open up the package. PCB. And all the other stuff we need. So let's get started with, let's see, first step, bending the leads of the resistors and the diodes, of course. So this is how it should look like when it's finished. Now to the software. We have to go to the website from IKA Logic to download and install the software. Let's see, we have a product, the, the kit. We go there. Here's the guide. We already used it for building the kit, but now we need the software for Windows. I run a Windows 7 Professional. Okay, let's, that's a standard installation. Let's go through there quickly. It also needs some drivers. Finish, launch the program, goes automatically. Okay, let's download the updates and all that stuff. We have a scanner logic too. Now the software is installed, we can hook up the analyzer to the computer and see what happens. And now we see that all is properly connected. I hooked up an Arduino, so I have some signal. Adjust the sampling rate the number of samples, start the measurement. And it looks as if we are successful in this build. Looks nice. So that's it, I hope you liked it. See you next time.